So right now, I am on the king's road, and over there is a tomb of a queen, waiting for the king that will never come. And this is the tomb of an ancient queen, and all around us are different tombs of different kings of the Joseon dynasty. And basically, I'm here and it's really, really cool, so I decided, well, tombs, zombies, zombie apocalypse, I mean, of course, it's barely related at all. But, you know, a good excuse to make a video. Hello, fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester, and today I have this great book, The Last Kids on Earth, June's Wild Flight, by Max Braulier himself, a super rad solo episode of June, and well, let's get on, to, let's get right on to it. So, basically, all the trouble starts when we are testing out a new weapon. It's like a pop-up shield thing, and it's really cool. It's something that superheroes might use, honestly. And basically, they're testing it out using to bat out uh, boom cards, which are like fortified bumper cards. And then, a band of rifters, which are pirates and vagabonds and bandits, and they write orgs. And they come through, and they're, and they're really, really fast. And, June's, and June gets tied on to snag onto the org, and she's whisked away, away from Wakefield, away from Jack Sullivan and the rest. Which is probably not good. And she thought, oh yes, it's a solo adventure, and then we find out Goblet's here, so it's a girl's adventure, yay! <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and basically, that's pretty much it. And so, and then we find out that these bandits, these guys, they're tracking something or someone, and they're trying to catch it, and it's like a blue, cute-looking baby dragon thing with no wings kind of thing, which is literally right here on the cover. And, and then they're trying to take it to Thrall, which is probably not good. So they try to, basically, they try to rescue this little thing. And they manage to do that. And then they find out it's a baby wretch, but it isn't evil. And also, it's Neon. Its name is Neon. They named it Neon because it looks so neon. Look at it. It's so incredibly neon. Look at that friendly face. Look at that. Cute. So cute. So anyway, that's what happens. And then, of course, the riffers catch up to them again and try to get them. And they are trying to return the baby wretch to its home. And when they finally reach reaches the wretch's nest though, they find out that the wretch hates the little wretch because he has no wings, he deserves no respect. And the last thing June saw was that this baby wretch all basically getting killed. And she getting captured by the rifters. And she wakes up tied up. But... Well, one of the main, they, we meet this little, little guy named Johnny Steve, and he thinks he's a human expert. He reads a lot of books, except he got all the facts wrong. I mean, okay. <coughs> and Johnny Steve and Neon and Globlet stage a rescue in order to rescue June. And they easily manage to get past the neglectful guard, and finally, June is freed. And with still a little bit of f fancy maneuvering, they get some stilt legs and put on some armor, and make themselves look like a rifter. And then, they trick the rifters and try to get some information out. Then, we hear someone's voice. We are close, don't move. And, uh, who's that? Well, it's Jack Sullivan, Dark Savage, and the rest of the gang, and Scout Cub. Which is one of the monster friends with a huge battle axe, kind of useful in a battle. And they're coming, and basically what happened was that June has this walkie-talkie that they can talk to, well, Jack Sullivan and the rest. The thing is, Neon ate the walkie-talkie by accident. And then, when she was near Neon, she heard the voice, and finally, we knew what was going on. They were here, and then five seconds later, the big mama was here, and the rest of the gang was here, and they hit against the rifters. And then they beat up the bad guys, and it's a good day. And we know now that if we find what is called the Watchtowers or something like that, if we find that, we can find 
D-Tower, which is the big evil thing that we need to blow up. That's basically what's happening. And the next thing is going to happen, well, we're going to see that in the next book, The Skeleton Road. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester, such a great bug in the tomb that is a, in the array of tombs that is a UNESCO. So, yeah, have a great day. Bye. Hmm. 한 번도 그거를 영어로.